the stadiums in baseball. Oh, no, no doubt. The the experience, you know, the stadium, but the bats. He and the squad getting ready to take on the Yankees for game two of three. So, exactly. Best you know what it was. Eventually, Brandon Gaughton, Jeff Fred, Court Johnson. Presented by Truist. Back for game two of the series. The Braves and Jeff Fred, Court. I'm Brandon Gaughton. So the Braves, the eight-run win yesterday. The news today, Ozzy. He helps you out in so many different ways, but just he's clutch hitting and deep. Don't pay attention to the noise. What you've got to do is change up your repertoire sometimes and maybe the patterns that you... Well, as I said, the Braves putting Ozzy Albies on the IL. A couple of roster moves. He's getting to see him down here. All right, Kelly, thanks very much. Here's a look at the line. It's really the lone bright spot up and down a lineup that struggled against Max Fried and then the bullpen. As John mentioned, just trying to get back on the balance beam a little bit. But look, historic all year in your first season. And he just knows how to pitch. And the big thing is not get caught up in, in what's been transpired. You got that meant three different teams were seeing the play. last night with Chris Siegel calling the balls and strikes. Yeah, the old tonight. And now Aaron Judge, who was two, still at a respectable 3 6 4, but after four of the last six starts have been a little. And the reigning AL MVP grounds this softly to Orlando. Well, that's a ball because yeah. he still had plenty of time to actually get in his glove because of it. There's a strike at the bottom of the zone to Glaber Torres. Already hit. Talked about everything, Jeff, being timing at hitting and the best way. He's got a one two here to Torres. He reaches for it and fouls it off. First time that Bryce Elder has ever faced the Yankee. Another chance for Orlando. This one a little more routine. Great start for Elder. Here at Truist Park and on to the bottom of the first. Lineup presented by your local teachers is Sean Murphy catching instead of Travis Darno. Every 06 ERA for Luis Severino. You know the biggest thing, Jeff, he's got how good this guy's stuff is. And you just see him first pitch when you saw that right there, 97 miles per hour, and you think. RA in the first inning this year. And of course, the Braves, the best first inning team in baseball, so this could be. And ooh, inside on the hands of Ronald Acuna, one and two. Well, when he's right, he's throwing that changeup off that fastball, even yeah. to right handed hitters. Ronald Acuna hops in front of Bader. A good start for. And for Bryce Elder, hit corners. We saw it. In the first inning, got two ground balls. That's what Ronald Acuna on, and here is Harris. Check over, but Ronald is back. And I think Ronald was going to steal a lot of bases regardless, but 55. Well, the guy over there at first base is the first base coach, EY. He stole quite a few back. Hitting up the text chain last night. See if that gets it started. There's a wild throw from Severino. Acuna's for the Braves to jump out in front. That one nowhere near to Michael Harris. Try to throw strikes. Well, he's able to get Harris to pop up innocently to Volpe. Infield comes in now. Yeah, I don't know about you. I don't love the infield in in this situation. With well, this. No, you're right. And, and and Greg Maddox always had a theory. Do not. He. Yeah, the Yankees just three runs last night. If you look in total. Two and two. That's a good pitch. A cutter there from Severino. Better. He went upstairs with a fastball at 99. And Matt continuing to have such a sensation. That's a great pitch that didn't get called. I know who lost more than seven pounds. Ian Hamilton. Had yeah, that sweat. and uh, I feel refreshed. That <laughs> comes in. Did that hit his bat? I think it did. <laughs> you want what? <laughs> It's the old one guard. That's going to be the easiest part. <laughs> the third with nobody out. But that miss is high, so they will be at the corners. Keep that funk extended. Marcel. And it's three to nothing. And, look. and the Braves, like they've done so many times. This three to nothing. It's unbelievable. And it just continues to snowball. 
guys because Brittany, the Braves, man, is incredible. And what have we seen in this stretch of games where the offense has gotten even? But when you give up two out runs, there is it's such a psyche that beat. It's it's easier to have clean innings yeah. or give up a solo home run. Yeah. This nightmare inning for him. The Braves take advantage. And now Eddie Rosario has a full count three and 38 with two outs and runners in scoring position. Just a staggering number. And now the inning will get Murphy now. Jeff, you Glav and I have talked about that, about going back and watching yourself in. Ooh, well the first one almost hit him. That, yeah, that did hit him. That one did. And it hit him solidly. Luckily, it was only 86 miles an hour. Well, last time out for Severino, they tried. To. No, I mean, we don't have enough time for me to go on my tirade there. What do they think? I'm That's not his first in. And that was it. He was out of the game in the fourth. Meanwhile, or. And he paints the outside corner. Two and two. It's over. He has just enough room because the Dodgers have 186. And if you took away his four calculate, but we got it all figured out. Now Bryce Elder one two three first now he. Last couple of starts for Bryce and a four pitch walk here. To stand. Now he pitches to Jake Bowers. There's a strike at the top of the zone. But what I. I've just been impressed the way he carries he carried shape or fashion. Fouled off by Bowers to keep it 0 and 2. And I think it's this one softly back to Elder. Can they get two? Very well. <laughs> but in the end, all worked out okay. And he and he went for a start of the year. And he got off to that hot start, but you know, DJ LeMayhew, second game back from that cat solidly to center for a single. Whereas flip side his counterpart Spencer Strider an RBI last night and he swings through this here also with Strider too. you talk about straight short striding and they pick it up the hitter sees it you and guess what if you don't throw enough strikes you're not going to get guys to chase your slider but two on with one out this should be just what the doctor ordered six he's and all that he's been soaking up guys and uh, I think they've been enjoying watching it from the dugout as well his first two starts and you didn't want Ozzy to go down obviously but this is you know we talked Brandon that's kind of what he protecting hero two and fouls off another one yeah there's a fine ba baseball on and they have certain you know goals they're trying to achieve because it was no perfect formula you know if you win by 20 then somebody's going to say but not always relevant and this ball slicing foul quite the battle here sever at bat here I throw him a fastball at 99 here to Lopez and there will be a 10 since 2015 and he finally takes care of the Braves second base into him after the game. What was it like to face that Atlanta lineup? He said, you know, I face Texas twice. And it's just. Like you said, they can beat you in so many ways when they win. Did last. Yep. I, I've noticed something. I'm not saying this is going to be. And then his arm swing, right? And that timing is no different than where you have your hand. 2-2 two, two to Ronald. Popped up. LeMayhew does he for Michael yesterday was his first time this year hitting above fifth in the order. Jeff do you think that move by Snit is just saying hey everybody else is so good in the ground ball here stopped by Volpe 